New developments tonight in a story that we've been following since the weekend. A convicted killer and rapist was scheduled to be released from Elmira Correctional Facility tomorrow. However, we learned just a few hours ago that has now been postponed. His name is Edward Kent. He was sentenced to nine years to life for raping and killing Penny Brown in Salamanca back in the year 1999. Tony Sides, Nate Benson has more details on his postponed now release, right Nate? Yes, Scott and Mary Alice, the daughter of Penny Brown tells me tonight that nobody is communicating any information with her or her family about the release of Penny's killer. We have been told almost nothing other than um, for some reason that's been stalled and, and he won't be released tomorrow, that's all we know. That is Caitlin Brown's reaction after law enforcement sources said the release of Edward Kent has been delayed. He will be released upon completion of his community preparation. Caitlin is the daughter of Penny Brown. This news has been utterly, utterly guttural, shocking and traumatizing to the family. Kent was convicted of killing Penny Brown on Mother's Day 1999. To think about a child looking for their missing mother um, on Mother's Day is just everyone's worst nightmare. Penny went jogging on the Penzi Trail in Salamanca with the family dogs. Kent raped and strangled Brown with a dog leash. I can't imagine how someone could sleep at night knowing that they are setting that person free um, into the same world as me. Originally, the Department of Corrections had planned to release Kent from Elmira Correctional Facility on Wednesday and place him in the town of Westfield. Cattaraugus County Sheriff Tim Whitcomb isn't sure why the parole board would approve his release there. They get to decide all of those things. Uh, if it was my decision, none of those would have to be on the table because he'd still be incarcerated. Caitlin says she has sent letters to the parole board every time her mother's killer was eligible for release, even appearing in person at times to argue against his release. This person took my childhood from me, took my innocence from me, um, killed the spirit of everyone in my family. Um, he took my life away from me. He didn't just take one life, he took a number of lives. And the news of his delayed release has created more ambiguity in an already frustrating circumstance. I'm as confused as you. This is huge news, huge shift in it, and I have no idea what's going on moving ahead. The Seneca Nation tonight said President Ricky Armstrong has signed an executive order banning Penny's killer from the Seneca territory for at least a year. In the studio, Nate Benson, Channel 2 News.